guys and welcome back to my channel microscope beauty today i'm going to show you my storage and organization of my planner supplies on my ikea cart so i don't actually keep any of my traveler's notebook supplies on here so if you want to check that out there is a brief blog post in the description but if you want to see a more in-depth look and a video of it let me know in the comments but let's dive right into this with the top section so over in the corner i just have some extra pens i really like these sharpie pens so i have a ton of them in there and this is a little penguin finger puppet this is the first oh hello mug we ever made so i have that right there as kind of a memento in this bin up here is where i keep all of my weekly kits so i have tons of weekly kits in here from a bunch of different shops and i just flip through here every week to see a kit that I want to use for that week. I used to keep them in my accordion sticker files, but it got too bulky. So I find that this is the best method and I just transfer the kit into my accordion file when I'm using it for the week. Over in this bin, I have Polaroid zip photo paper for my printer and then a bunch of my business cards for my blog. And then right next to it is where I keep sticky notes. So I have this really cute little pad. I think this one is from Banana Doodle, but I'm not 100% sure. Then I also have some regular like post-it sticky notes as well as a bunch of magnets. These are my favorite type of bookmarks, these magnetic ones. So I have a ton from Crafted Van. I got this really cute, like I think it's a bear that looks like Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Got that from the Chicago Planner Conference. Then I also have a bunch of like Erin Condren magnets down here as well. Back in this jar over in the corner are a bunch of tiny little Hello Kitty figurines. I collected them for a while, so I just like to keep them in that jar. Then this little jar is really cool. I got it from Amy from Lilac Pineapple Co. when we saw each other in Chicago. It looks like a cat food jar, but you can open it and there's cat paper clips inside. How cool is that? The second shelf is where I keep all of my traveler's notebooks. So I have a personal size Foxy Fix that we got from the Chicago Planner Conference. These two are from Chic Sparrow. They're both A6s. Then I have my Ojo Stationery Co. A6, my tailored hippie B6, it's a fabric TN, and then my B6 from Ojo Stationery. On the left side is where I keep my 52 list project book. I have all of my covers for my Erin Condren plus my Erin Condren address book. Behind my traveler's notebooks is where I store all of my sticker organizers. I have two of them back there and that's where all of my stickers are. I don't have any stickers elsewhere besides my weekly kits and then those sticker accordions. The third shelf is where I like to keep all of the planners that I don't use on a regular basis, but I like to use for blog posts or videos. I have my get to work book over here. These two planners I recently received from Freedom Mastery, so I'm checking those out. This is my plum paper planner. I have my simplified planner, my day designer. This one is my infinite agenda. This one is my lime life planner. Then I have a couple of folders from Erin Condren just in case I have to take papers anywhere. And then I also have my personal ring planner from Michaels. I keep this mostly for photos now. I don't use it very often. I have a little address book here from Erin Condren as well as some Dury sticker books and some extra sticky notes from Erin Condren. And then this is my laptop case that I got from Etsy years ago that I just keep down here when I'm not using it. So that was everything that I keep in my Ikea cart. I try to keep it as simplified and organized as possible, but I would love to hear how you guys use your cards or how you store your various planner supplies. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos from me every single week. And I'll see you guys in my next one.